All new at six gives new meaning to hot pockets. The new iPod Nana is hot, but a Douglasville man says his old Nano got even hotter. Hot enough to burst into flames. The battery in the Nano uses the same technology as those troubled laptop batteries under recall due to the risk of fire. Consumer investigator Jim Strickland has more. So I look down and I see flames coming up to my uh, chest about here. The burn hole from his pocket marks the spot of Danny Williams' 15 seconds of flame. What was in your pocket? It was, uh, it was my iPod Nano. William says he also had a glossy piece of paper in his pocket that likely shielded him from a painful burn. Instead, he's just chilled. I'm still kind of freaked out the fact that only a year and a half my iPod catches fire in my pocket. The iPod uses a lithium-ion battery, the same type of battery under recall for setting laptops on fire. Another iPod owner posted on a technology website claiming the same problem happened with his Nano. William says the fact that his iPod Nano burst into flames while he was at work was bad enough. Where he works, he says, could have been another issue. He works at a kiosk in a Hartsfield-Jackson concourse. Um, TSA had came by and saw me smoking. They could have honestly thought I was a terrorist. William says or Apple wants language. him to send his iPod back and that they vow to replace it. William's mother called Channel 2 concerned, this is about more than one iPod. It's about what may have been. It could have happened anywhere. It could have happened while we were sleeping. It could have happened while he was driving. And the outcome would have been much worse. After we sent Apple pictures of the iPod, they called back, refusing to say how common a problem this is. In fact, Apple is refusing to talk about this, period. Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.